Hi everyone, it's Jonathan, and welcome to this week's edition of Palatable Provisions. Today, we are gonna make some breakfast enchiladas because one of the things that I'm noticing, you know, doing this whole quarantine thing is that I miss brunch. I miss going out, putting on a nice outfit, having some champagne, relaxing, and just enjoying a time on a Sunday, mid-morning, early afternoon, possibly all day. Um, so today we're gonna make breakfast enchiladas, and the reason why I chose this, this dish is because it's actually Saturday right now when we're filming this, because you can actually make this dish ahead of time and just pop it in the oven the next day when you're ready to um, heat it up. So this is actually a great dish if you're hosting, say, a brunch party. Speaking of lovely brunch parties and breakfast enchiladas, uh, Eric and I have a friend uh, who lives in Napa Valley. Hey, Megan. Um, and when we went to visit her and we had a uh, brunch at her house, she made us breakfast enchiladas. So I'm channeling my inner Megan right now. So let's go through our ingredients so we know what kind of yumminess is going to be in our enchiladas. All right, so we're gonna start off with a pound of ground pork sausage. You can use hot, you can use mild, you can use sweet. I chose mild because that's what the store had. Two tablespoons, or a little bit more if need be, of uh, butter or margarine. Four thinly sliced green onions. Two tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro. 14 eggs, and they're beaten. Uh, three quarters of a tablespoon of salt. A pinch of pepper. A cheese sauce, which we already made, there'll be a link at the end of the video uh, to watch that being made. Uh, eight flour tortillas. I'm sure if you love corn tortillas, you could substitute. Absolutely okay. A cup of uh, spicy Monterey Jack cheese that's shredded. Um, so I've got one that has some jalapenos in it. Um, and then not shown, which we'll actually show you tomorrow, are the toppings that we're going to decide to put on our dish. All right, so our first step in our process to make our yummy, delicious breakfast enchiladas is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna brown our sausage. Now, uh, I chose to use ground sausage because it's easier, but if you only had a whole sausage links um, in your house or in your freezer or wherever, you could absolutely use those and just remove the casings and break them up. Um, I use this because it does the work for me and I don't have to uh, spend my time decasing sausage. All right, we're gonna break this up and let it brown until there's no pink remaining. All right, so we have some beautifully browned sausage. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove this from the pan and we're gonna place it on a plate in a bowl with paper towels. And that's gonna soak up some of this extra grease that's in here. And then we can leave our, our pan on the stove because we're gonna cook the rest of our ingredients in the same pan. I'm just gonna put this to the side and we can move on to the next step. All right, our next step is we're gonna melt our butter in our sauce, in our um, skillet over medium heat. And then once that's melted, we're gonna throw in to the pot our yummy, yummy green onions and most of the cilantro. I'm reserving some of the cilantro for tomorrow when I um, want to garnish. Now we're gonna saute this for about one minute. It'll be nice and fragrant. After it's been about a minute, minute or so, we're gonna take our beat up eggs and we're going to slowly add them into our pan. Okay. And we're gonna add our salt. Again, like we talked about in other videos, you can add a level of salt and pepper or spices or whatever that is appropriate for you or your family or, or the meal that you're making. So I'm just gonna add some of this. Now we're gonna let this cook for just a minute or so uh, without stirring. Now, that's hard for me because I feel like I should be whisking this around and, and cooking that. We want the eggs to start to set a little bit um, on the bottom of the pan. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
use our spatula and just draw lines across because we want to have big curves throughout and we also want to incorporate um, some of our uh, sauteed goodness. All right, now remember, don't keep stirring constantly. Only do this uh, infrequently so that we can continue to get the eggs to set all around. All right, and we're gonna continue doing this until uh, the eggs are thickened, but they are still moist. Ooh, sorry that I said that word. Um, and we do that because the eggs will still continue to cook a little bit when we put them in the oven, when we go to heat this up for our uh, quarantine stay at home brunch tomorrow. Okay. You don't want them to be running, but you want them to still have a little bit of uh, moisture left in them. Gently fold in one and a half cups of our cheese sauce. I should have gotten a spoon. Okay, now again, use your judgment. So it's a guide, not a, a mandate. That looks good. So then I'm gonna take, and I'm going to just fold this mixture in repeatedly. So it gets uber gooey. Okay, let that set there for a second. I'm going to take the sausage that I had reserved, and I'm also going to fold that into the mix. When that is done, we can go ahead and we can turn the heat off and then we'll be able to move back to the other side of the counter to work on our next step. Okay, for the last step before we go ahead and pop this in the oven, we're gonna wanna uh, lightly grease a nine by 13 uh, baking dish. I happen to use the glass one because that's the one that I have that's a size, but you could use whatever baking dish you want as long as it's that size. We're gonna have our uh, flour tortillas and our egg mixture. We're gonna take about a third of a cup or a little bit more. I feel like I'm gonna have enough extra, which is a little bit more than three and a half heaping spoonfuls of our very hot but delicious egg mixture. And we're gonna put it down the center of our tortilla. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to roll it up. And keep all the filling in it. And then you're gonna place it in your dish, uh, seam side down. Now, back to Napa, and the reason why I'm very excited to do this recipe is we had such a wonderful trip, oh, what, two years ago now, cameraman, I think it was, um, over a long weekend. It was our friend Sabrina's birthday. No, it was New Year's, sorry, that was a different trip. Uh, it was New Year's, still a very long weekend, and uh, we went to Napa, hung out with Megan, we got to go to some great, uh, wineries like Saint Supri, uh, Chandon, uh, what was the other one? Anyway, Do Domaine Cosneros, um, and we just had so much fun. But I think part of the fun was not only hanging out with our friends, Rob and Christy, seeing Megan, being with uh, Dylan and Sabrina, having lots of yummy wine. We also got to meet Judy, and Judy is Megan's neighbor, and she is the sweetest person in the world. And I have to give her a big shout out. Judy, we love you. We miss you and we can't wait till we can come to Napa again. Okay, back to our enchiladas. All right, now that they're all rolled up and in their respective dishes, notice that I had to add a second dish because eight uh, of my enchiladas were not gonna fit in this Byrex dish. So not a problem. We are uh, well-versed at being flexible cooks, right? So we went ahead and we just added a new dish. No need to stress. So the last step before we are ready to either put in the refrigerator to wait for tomorrow or to throw in the oven and get ready for brunch is to pour the remaining cheese sauce over your remaining 
uh, over your uh, enchiladas rather, and you'll spread it out evenly amongst however many dishes you have. The last piece is we're gonna take and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sprinkle our remaining cheese over these evenly. I'm gonna use all of this amount on this guy here because that's what it was proportioned for and I'll just grab some more from the fridge for that guy. And that is the prep work for our uh, breakfast enchiladas. to start the day. Happy Sunday! I hope everybody slept so well. It was such a great night in our house last night. Uh, we went to bed early. We did a little video conferencing with some folks, so it was a really great night, and I'm so excited to wake up this morning to have brunch because I miss it. Um, I've got my iced coffee going so I can get a little caffeine in my body, get myself ready for the day. Um, I went ahead and uh, have been preheating our oven to 350 degrees so that it's ready uh, for our enchiladas. About 30 minutes ago, I pulled them out of the refrigerator to uh, let them warm up a little bit because you don't really want to put that ice cold dish into the oven. You want it to warm up a little bit, it'll cook a little bit uh, more evenly and faster. I also assembled our uh, accoutrements uh, to top off our breakfast enchiladas. So I have both a red and a green salsa, some halved cherry tomatoes, sour cream, uh, cilantro, and green onion. And so we'll use these later uh, when we build our breakfast plates. I'm also gonna serve this with a nice side of black beans. Um, perfect. So let's go ahead and let's get this in the oven. All right. So we've got our enchiladas in our oven that's been preheated to 350 degrees and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cook them for 30 minutes. So I set my timer and I can't wait. In 30 minutes we get to have mimosas. All right. It's been just about 30 minutes and I'm going to open the oven and check and see if we are ooey and gooey and bubbly and that's going to mean that our enchiladas are ready. Oh yeah, that looks real good. I can hear that cheese. Perfect. So we'll take this out of the oven and we'll let it sit for just a minute or two because you don't want to um, bite into that bubbling cheese when it's too, too hot. And then we'll get it set up and we'll enjoy it. All right, friends, there you have it. Yummy, yummy, delicious uh, breakfast enchiladas, which is uh, eggs, cheese sauce, and uh, pork breakfast sausage. Uh, wrapped in flour tortillas and baked with a side of black beans and accoutrements. In the famous words of our favorite chef, Bon 